Hello, welcome back to our channel. Thank you very much for stopping by. If you're new, please consider subscribing. And please remember to click the thumbs up button for me. And I really, really appreciate you all so much for watching. I am still working on improving my videos. For those that don't know, I started four to five months ago and my first videos were just so absolutely terrible i mean it literally looked like someone was holding a gun to my head requiring me to read some speech and i deleted some of them i mean they were so terrible so i still don't think they're very good but i am working on it and i really 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 appreciate you all who watch and comment and are supporting me on my growth it really really means so much to me and i am going to do my i just got this in my oxycharm premium just wait till you see this look at this it is trying to turn it where you can see this color is so beautiful but for some reason when I swatched it you can't see the purple but it looks like it's showing the purple look at that when I in here I mean these look at this this is so pretty so I'm gonna try to put some of this on and in case you don't see the other video see what I did to my nails I used a nail shack that's the name of it I used the nail shack strips that I show you all where you put it on your natural nails I mean I guess you could put it on artificial nails but I've heard some people say that it doesn't work it doesn't stay good this is four days and they're still good but I put a gel top coat that really kind of makes it seals it in I mean it really it feels like a glass overlay and it's really shiny. I don't know if you can see it. So far, I'm really liking it. So, I'm going to keep try I'm going to see how long these last if they last a couple weeks. So, I don't want to tell anybody about things that I haven't tried myself. So, I want to try it and see how well this hold these hold up under the gel and then I will be doing a video to show y'all what I did I think they're gonna hold up so far they're holding up so I don't know where to start I think I'm gonna start do a I'm not real good with makeup y'all know that I'm still working on it I I know some of y'all have said I am but to me I don't feel like I'm I'm definitely not a professional so I think I'm gonna try to go in with the this color it's a light orangish color and it's called Addy or should I go yeah I think that one's lighter see I'm gonna go in with this one let me figure out which brush I want to use first let's see here where did my Oh, here it is. I'm trying to find my swatcher thing. I like to keep it right here so I can swatch it as soon as I get done. So I'm going to try this one and see. Okay, that's just a tiny bit and it's, can y'all see just that tiny bit how pigmented it is? I like that. Just that color alone is really pretty. I wish I could. I need to try to get this adjusted. That's as low, I guess, as that goes on that one. And that one feels like it's there. I'm still trying to figure out my ring light. I apologize if there's any ideas y'all have to adjust it better or how you think it looks better I've been trying to adjust it and sometimes it's hard to see till you play it back and see that how it might look bad but I'm still trying to figure it all out I 
you see that orange color it's actually really pretty it's actually a really pretty orange and I don't usually wear orange I'm trying to get out of my comfort zone and wearing more and trying more things out I often think I'm getting too old to be trying to come out of my comfort zone but I think sometimes coming out of your comfort zone as you get older can add life and make you not feel so old I really like that color it's just enough to give some color on your eye without being too much but let's see there's just that and that was the color Addy now what should I do should I go in with something darker maybe this color just try this color rose that's a darker color there just a little bit over the lid to intensify it I think I will try that I'll leave that brush out that is oh no wonder that brush is so good that's my Sigma brush I was gonna say that, that brush is so good I want to keep that one out okay let's see I need a smaller brush I put all my brushes in here to wash and I I haven't separated them. <laughs> Leave my brushes. This, this is the this is the just the ones that I use for my eyes. And I don't buy any brushes that don't all my brushes pretty much come in box in some box. I, I'm trying to think. I don't think I've bought any brushes in a long time that didn't just come in the one box or another I'm still experimenting with the where you go over your natural crease just a little bit to try to to make your eyes appear bigger and your crease further up and I'm still just not it's still just not looking right for me but I am kind of hard on myself so that could be an answer to see I need to blend it in but I'm still trying to figure this out if y'all have any clues or hints for me in that department you can let me know too cuz I know some of y'all are makeup artists and I definitely am not and sometimes it does it's easier for other people to look and you know what I mean it's easier for other people to look and see what where we should have done or shouldn't have done or how things look hmm. I like this palette it is nice and pigmented I see that what I said it's called Illuminati it's the Illuminati X I'm not sure if that's if you, it's ISA I think I don't have a line through it but I'm not sure see so Illuminati and X and IS that's an A I don't know I'm not sure what that's supposed to Illuminati X huh. yeah I don't know but it's a really pretty pal palette I saw this and was really hoping that I would get it because I think the other one was oh I can't think of the name of it but I actually got two of the the one that it that we could have gotten instead and it is a nice palette but it's all it is actually one of the ones that's in my box in there to be put in a giveaway here soon
Yeah, I don't usually wear red on my eyes either, but I like this palette. It's very pigmented. I'm just trying to decide what I should do in the corner here because there is black. Or should I bring the red on down, this red, and because it's those are the only ones that's really dark enough to smudge it out, or maybe this brown here, because I don't really want to go black. Mm. I don't know what I should do. Maybe I... Maybe I should bring the red down just a little bit right here. Let's try that. I'll probably put it on the bottom anyway, so... Let's try to blend this in here. Have you all, any of y'all perfected your, the crease cut? I'm still working on that. I've just about given up, but I think my eyes are too textured and too hooded to look right. But I have seen some people who say they have hooded eyes who did a perfect cut crease but i've tried several times and it just does not look right so there is the red i brought it on down what do y'all think i brought the red on down i think i'm going to go under the eyes with the red let me go ahead and come down on this side too. Yeah, this palette is really, I'm not seeing, you see, I'm not seeing any fallout at all from this palette. not going for a super dramatic look or I might try the black but I like just that brown or the orange I mean and the red let's see I think I'm gonna go under the eyes with the red and then do one of the glitters or I really like that purple but it just I don't know if it would stand out but that yellow let's see let me show you this yellow is called 1996 see can you see that yellow there let's see there can you see it you can see it at an angle but i got to figure out a way to adjust you can see it just slightly is it that really pretty Got to figure out a way to adjust my. I uh, I bought some tools and I fixed it to where my camera would actually stay right on my ring light. And maybe it's the camera is just too close to the ring light. But they come with connections to put your phone right there too. So either way, what you video on was meant to be there. I don't know. I'm going to keep. Playing around with it. I don't like that yellow color. That's got, to me, that looks a little bluish. That one, I don't know. Let's see if you can see the yellow on that one. Just slightly, but yeah, you can see it better. You can see the yellow, okay. Huh, okay, let me put a little bit of red. I wonder what color I should put eyeliner let me do that before I do this let's see maybe I should just do a black eyeliner because I don't think green and blue or I don't think any of those would look right this is a brown oh that's the that's not the wrong eyeliner oh, wrong thing. let's see I had a brown but I don't think I brought it in here I don't think now if I was to put blue there that blue eyeliner might look okay but 
see there's the well that looks purple there it looks blue here but it looks purple on my arm that is blue so if I could turn it see if I could pick this up and show you see it's blue but on my skin it looked purple huh let's see here I think I'll just put black under my eyes because my brown somehow didn't make it here in here oh, this is blue ain't it? this is not brown this is a dark this is my navy blue I think it looks navy blue on my eyes. Thought it was a grant. I forgot I bought a navy blue one. This was I just bought this one recently because I didn't have anything other than in the dark category besides the black and brown. Yeah, this is navy. It's okay. It still looks okay, I think. You see it on there? I, when I look on there, and then when I look back, it looks different, but okay. Let's see. I know sometimes things look totally different when I'm looking in the viewfinder then when I actually go back and watch the video I've seen that happen many times so there's the red, a little bit of red underneath I forget which color I'm probably going to just put a highlighter in the corner y'all that make videos, do you have a mic? I was watching the other day that they were saying you should have a mic. I'm always researching ways to make the channel better and that's what I was reading on the other day the things that they were saying was a good phone or camera and a ring light which I have both of those now and a mic but when I've listened back to my videos I haven't heard anything out of the ordinary that would make me think that a mic was necessary and it, the volume seems okay so y'all let me know if you think I should invest in a mic they were saying they're only like twenty dollars for a decent mic do y'all have um, any of y'all have a mic and if so which one would you recommend let's see what color should I put on the inside corner hmm. so many pretty colors to choose from this is oh that's pretty and it look at that let's see if I can see it that's like a, a gold yeah look at that that's real gold real gold color hmm more yellow I really love that one that's called purple dream I'm almost tempted to try that and see if I can make that show up. That is such a pretty color. Let's try and see if I can get it to to show up on my eye. Now if I hide something underneath it it might show up better. That's not too bad, but I don't know if you can see. And I didn't bring my here. I'll just did I bring my other stuff in here. I apologize. I've been it's been such a hectic week. I've had so much going on, and Levi's. You know, y'all know I'm homeschooling in his. Uh, not first nine weeks ended, and this week has been so busy. I'm going to try this Laura Geller Spackle Mist. 
has been so busy trying to to make sure he has gotten everything done that needed done and everything so that he has a good grade and that smells good I just opened it that really smells good too it's coconut water that's why okay pretty. It's not as out there as I had hoped, but it's really pretty. But I mean, it is a light purple, so when I get done, I'm going to change the light to different settings and see if y'all can see what I did better on the different settings. Yeah, I definitely, definitely love this palette. I think this might be one of my favorite ones in a while. Yeah, I don't, I've tried it both ways. I don't think the mist really changes or wet in the brush, whatever you want to call it, is really changing how it, it, this one goes on. Yeah, I don't really think it's making any difference. If anything, it's making it not go on as well, maybe. I don't know, because, yeah, that one, let me try a brush that's not wet. The other eye that I started out at, dry, seems like it has more color on it. Is weird it just don't seem like it's if I can show you that this eye how much better it went on this eye than this eye before I wet it maybe it's because I wet it and my lids already got that stuff on it but it's not wanting to go on that eye 